Buona sera and good evening everybody, Man with a Plan here. Welcome back everybody to Prison Architects on the Xbox One. Thanks for coming to join us today guys, hope you're doing well, hope you're doing great. I'm doing really good. I actually really am very curious to proceed in this game, so thank you guys for the support on the last video. I saw that quite a few views that hit it on my little channel quite fast, so I'm really pleased about that. Glad you guys are liking it. If you find you enjoy this episode, do the same thing. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe, all those wonderful things that make me very, very happy inside. So, let's have a look here. At the end of the last episode, we had kind of laid out roughly what our prison was going to be looking like. I spent a little bit of time just before launching today doing things like setting up what we're going to need for the staff room. We got a little uh, a little sofa here, a little radio, drinks machine, a TV, some more chairs and things around. Only a dinky little staff room. Uh, over in here I've set up the kitchen. We've also got ourselves uh, a stall, a sprinkler, so because I decided they're cooking things, fire may be an issue. So we got a couple of sprinklers are hanging around here. We got a whopping three fridges. There's a little radio in the corner because you can't work in a kitchen without a radio, man. Come on. Two cookers, a little sink thing going on here, and a bin. All standard important stuff. Pretty, pretty good there. We've also got ourselves a little common room set up now with an amazing whopping two pool tables hanging out in here. Some pay phones so that people can talk to the family. A couple of TVs. In fact, that one is actually both of them are facing the wrong way. Ah, oh, pardon me, sneeze attack. Uh, yeah, both of these are facing the wrong way, so that's no good. So let's cancel that one and cancel uh, this one. And if we go into construction, we can actually keep tapping into objects and we can filter by the room with the X key there. And let's rotate these around so that people can actually see the TV. Oh, I may have rotated them around the correct way. It could have been a thing. Well, you know what, let's put them back in anyway, so that's all good. A couple of drinks machines, another couple of bins in here, some chairs, things like that, all looking good. The showers are pretty self-explanatory. We've got hot shower head. A hot shower head. That seems a good idea. We're treating our prisoners. Uh, and some drains underneath them, and that's all I've put in there. Storage is... Well, it's storage. That's not a huge, huge deal at all. And over in... Oh, my good God. Oh, oh, oh. I keep doing that, getting the two thumbsticks to fight against each other. So, with my cursor, I'm moving right, and with the screen control, I'm moving left, and they kind of get super confused with each other. Uh, in the yard, we've got nothing really too special. A couple of weight benches, some benches, some tables, and a radio. And a couple more phone booth things there. So, that's all looking pretty good. That should kind of finalize everything in the way, except for these cells, but... We're only sitting with eight grand in the bank now. So we're going to let everybody get to work. We're going to turn that on a fast while they get doing that. We'll have a chat about the other things. Uh, first off, Lee, this floor is absolutely appalling. Like, really, really bad floor. I'm absolutely hating it. But we're also getting a notification on our to-do list here saying um, areas of prison are still without power. So we require some more electrical cables up and around here. Uh, I don't know why I'm sneezing so much. Sorry, everybody. Literally, I was fine before I started the recording, and now I'm sneezing to all holy hell. So that's a pain in the butt. Uh, let's see here in the way of power cables. What's happening here? I thought everything had power. Oh, the cells. Oh, the cells don't have a lot of power. Okay, can I? Who's the least overloaded? This guy here really is the least overloaded. Okay, well, you know what? Let's bring you down like that then. And that should fix our power issues. One thing I was noticing is we've got all these dark areas and then lights. And these lights are kind of automatically placed and they've not been placed in the greatest of manner. Now, I can remove these. Uh, remove object dismantle. I guess we'll dismantle it. So we can go across all of these. Oh, that one I'm dumping. Never mind. Not a huge deal. Dismantle. And again, don't want to be wasting materials, man. Dismantle all of them. And then I will place them in the areas of which I see fit to do so because I found the light button on the thing. Um, that's actually where I'd like the light to sit. So I'm going to put them on there on every cell. Alright, good. So if we go into construction, it's not in power supply, I believe it's in objects, if I remember correctly. There we are, that's why I was still sitting on filtered by room. So we can put a light in the same spot in every cell, and hopefully that should work out pretty well for us. So let's go ahead, put one of them all on this side opposite the door, because I don't want the light right above their head in the bed. There we go, and now let's put one in each of the corridors. Like that, and like that, and we're going to need some down this hallway too. I'm very surprised that they have been placed in this kind of erratic manner. Perhaps there is a setting somewhere to disable them being placed automatically, and I have missed it. I believe it could have been a thing. Um, I don't know there. Sounds good. Alright, look at them installing all the things. Oh, look at our little common room coming together really nicely. 
Everything's looking amazing. Oh, I love it. Ah, these are requiring water. Alright, we're going to have to hook up those things with some water supplies. We now have refrigerators to keep our food from going bad. That's good. That's definitely a good thing for us. Uh, luckily, the sink happened to be landed exactly on the large water pipe, so that's super, super handy. Uh, and the same with all of these things are all going to need watering stuff. So let's go ahead into here and go for some small pipes. And I think we should just be able to do that. I imagine that's not going to be too far. Will it drain water away and supply water to the shower, do you think? This is something I am unsure of. We can find out as time progresses. Alright, good. And the same with these guys. We're going to need some water for the sprinklers. Like that. I love the sound effects of them installing the water pipes. It's absolutely great. Alright, excellent. Let's go ahead and pump the speed up to full and get them to build all this stuff up and see if it all works. I also notice, even though we've only made the first little block, we've actually taken up quite a chunk of our little area here. So I feel like this is going to be a kind of like little test prison. And um, we'll see how well it goes and how it fails and what goes wrong. And we'll utilize what our knowledge is in the design of the next one, I believe. Alright, I think that's everybody done. Yeah, very good. Excellent. The only thing that we are missing are the standard cells. So you know what? I think we can go ahead and build a couple of these without a problem. Uh, enclosed, surrounded by walls and doors. So we need some doors, a bed, and a toilet for a little standard cell thing there. That's not a huge issue. Let's get that stuff down here. Okay, good. There's a couple of standard cells for us, literally just with the toilet and the bed for them. I'm noticing this one's getting a little bit high on its power consumption now because we've added so many lights in that area. That's a bit of a shame, but you know what? It's running okay. That should be fine. Let's wait until the daytime, and I believe we can look at hiring staff and taking in our very first prisoner. Okay, excellent. Just turned four in the morning. The day is just about on the rise here in our little prison. We haven't named the prison either. I think I'm going to call it Failure Penitentiary because it's, uh, it's pretty much going to go down. I'm pretty sure that's going to happen, but it's testing purposes. We're finding out how to play the game. It's going to be an amazing thing. So let's go over to our to-do list. I've read the CEO's letter. We need to hire a warden. Open the hire staff menu. Let's see here. And one warden. Okay, where do we find said menu? Construction, reports, emergencies, prison running, hire staff. Makes sense. And there is a warden. The grand overseer of your prison required before you can hire advanced staff members, 1,000 with a daily wage of 200. That's a bit of a worry, but let's go ahead and pop down a little warden dude in his simple little office. Bam. He's just called warden. And he's going to go and sit behind his desk. No, he's not. Okay, he's doing something else. What is this? Snapshot. Pick up. Oh, nice. So you can find little images dotted around the place. Okay, pretty cool. I like it. Ooh, one of the last mentions on the first episode, and thank you very, very much for the comment, was to replace this standard door with a staff door. Otherwise, there's a good chance that our inmates will come into the kitchen and help themselves. I don't know why they kind of go, oh, no, that's a staff door. I can't go in there. Because, you know, they're, they're inmates, I thought that they would just kind of do as they please. If they wanted to go inside of there, they'd go inside of there. But nevertheless, let's find ourselves the better door. So if we go filter by room and then bring it down, it gives us a type of door. But I don't want a jail door. There it is, I want a staff door. That's it, you remove that one, buddy. With your standard screwdriver that sounds like an electric one. Go on, get it done. There you go. And I should now be able to go ahead and place this guy here. Excellent. All right, good. That takes care of that problem. So he's now taken care of. What else do we need to do? Prisoner intake. Do we actually need to just open the prison now? That was it. Had a little look at the CEO's letter again. And we do indeed we need some cooks to be able to take care of this. So we're in prison running higher staff. Who else can we get? Some cooks. Uh, what do you think? Two? Okay, I put him in the kitchen. Where's he going? Where are you going, buddy? He's probably heading to the staff room because there's nothing to do. Yeah, we'll just keep one for the time being. That's going to be great. Uh, we're probably not going to get anywhere fast without some guards. Keep the prisoners in check and out of trouble. So let's say one there, one hanging out in the yard, and one hanging out in the cell block. Put three down for the time being. 
I didn't realize we could hire more workmen, so that's really good. I should have probably looked at this area a little bit sooner. All right, we've got some guards and such things. That's pretty good. Um, what else do we need to get into here? Here's the bureaucracy menu. Assign your administrators to unlock new items. That sounds like a good idea. Can we actually get administrators? Armed guards, sniper, dog handler, doctor, janitor, gardener, a chief, a foreman, an accountant, a psychologist, and a lawyer. Okay. Well, very interesting. Well, that's okay, because we don't have any other officers ready quite yet. Alright. Excellent. So, let's see here what this bureaucracy system is all about. Hire staff administrators to unlock new items. Staff roles and facilities for your prison. Hiring takes time and requires a research period. Oh, we browse with the D-pad. Okay, that was confusing the balls out of me for a minute there. So, we got legal, health, finance, education, maintenance... So I'm guessing we can start with all of these guys and then work on the next. Now, security sounds like a very good idea. Unlocking the chief of security could definitely be a thing. What else is our potential? Though? If we get legal, we can get small cells, permanent punishments, and legal group, legal defense, death row. Finance gives us land expansion, an extra grant, and a bank loan. Maintenance allows us to clone, groundkeeping, cleaning, and prison labor. Hmm... Yeah, the doctor definitely sounds like a good idea. And education sounds like a good idea too. But for starting, I'm definitely going to be looking at security. That's going to take about an hour to do anyway. So that at least we now know what the bureaucracy system is and how that works. I think we're ready. I believe that we are ready to open the prison doors. Oh, hang on. Wait, the toilets aren't plumbed in, man. Oh, look at that. It's an hour in game rather than an actual hour of real time. That's awesome. So we've actually already gone and unlocked that thing. That's pretty cool. So if I went into higher staff now, we should be able to get ourselves the chief. We can indeed. An advanced staff member gives access to deployment, CCTV, riot guards, and research items. However, we can't hire him because we are desperately running out of money. Um, why is my chef hanging around in exports? That's strange. Why are the toilets not plumbed in? Ah, I'm a fool. We were one tile off. All right, there it is. So those toilets are plumbed in. These cells are not complete, but we don't have the money to finish them. We've got a shower room. We've got some storage. We've got in exports, imports. We've got garbage. We've got deliveries. We've got a holding cell, our warden, our staff room, our yard, our kitchen, our canteen. And I think we are finally ready to open the prison doors. Let's see how terrible this happens. Accept new prisoners. Intake currently closed. No prisoners will arrive at your prison. It has extra request and accept new prisoners. Let's do it. So let's see here. Minimum security, medium security, maximum security, and death row. Oh my god. Adjust our next intake of prisoners. You're paid more for accepting dangerous people. Right, we can hold 12. So why don't we get six of them that are a minimum security and six of them that are a medium security? Nah, you know what? Let's get six of them that are medium. Yeah, no, it's a better idea. Six and six of the lower type of guys, because I can see in the top left hand of the screen there that we've only got 12 people who are actually available to stay in here at the moment. Okay, that's very good. Needs. Sleep, shower, lock up. Oh, okay, there are actually like time sections throughout the day that everybody's going to be doing things. That's pretty cool. I like it. Okay, don't have that. Okay, I'm not sure what the grants do, not sure what the programs are, not sure what the finance is either. I need to research it. Validation. Okay, that gives us a little bit of information about us and our prison. Okay, so do I just press B to close it? Yep, there it is. It is indeed. We are accepting new prisoners and they are going to be arriving at 8 o'clock in the morning. Let's go. A couple more prisoner uniforms hanging out over here. They will come and sit around on this area. I'm worried why these doors are all open. I'm guessing that they will close when the prisoners arrive. Okay, that was a mistake. I went to go and add a few more capacitors to this, and I saw it cost me quite a bit of money and dropped my cash down to about 400 bucks. And uh, so I cancelled the job, and I didn't get the money back. So definitely want to be sure that you're going to build something before you build it. Let's fast forward over to 8 o'clock in the morning and accept our new prisoners. And there it is, 8 o'clock in the morning, and our first little bus of convicts is on their way. Welcome, you undesirables, 
to your new home. And surely enough, all the doors on my prison have now closed. And here are the walk-ins. How's it going, dudes? Line it all up. Let's get ready to welcome yourselves in, shall we? Come along now. Oh, do they have to be walked in one at a time? Ah, that's fine. Who we got here? Macy, Beltran, Haney, Kenway, Dunthorne, Fraser, Kamer, Baldwin. Blatraski, Blatarski, and Wooliven. Alright, you guys come on in. Welcome into your new home. Now let's all have you well behaved. Let's keep you being good. Let's not see you being a bunch of douchebags or we're going to have a serious problem here. So what happens here? They're all getting... Yeah, they get searched together. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that shakedown animation as he's beating him on top of the head. He's taking off all of his clothes. <laughs> he's searching him. Uh, already the worry is, is that there's only three guards in here, so you know what, we're going to pull in another one. Uh, we can actually afford the chief now, so let's pull him in. Requires an office. Oh no, he needs an office, does he? Ah, nuts, what have we got ourselves into? Well, we can build an office together quite quickly, that's not a huge, huge worry. Okay, that's not a problem. We're going to put him together as an office. Look at, this. Look at these people stripped naked and being shaken down. Alright, that's them giving their prison uniforms. So they're being moved on into the next little area. The chef's hanging out here for some reason. Dude, get out the way. You shouldn't be here. Oh, he's waiting for the guards to come to open the gate so that he can actually get back through the area. And in you go there, douchebags. Welcome to your brand new cells. You guys are going to hang out here. Why did you not close the doors? That's very strange. Toggle mode. Locked open, locked closed. Uh, okay. That's interesting. So these guys are going to be lucky enough to get the actual cells, and then everybody else is going to get dumped in this holding cell. Oh, we're in free time. Ah, I can see at the top of the screen there now. We're at free time. That's pretty cool. Alright, excellent. How are we doing in the way of that office? They're getting to work on that. That's totally fine. While we are processing our first batch of people. So what do you do with the big pile of unwanted clothes? I mean, there is a bin there. Are you just going to throw it away? Or are you going to kind of just pile them all on a big heap on the floor and leave them there? And I need a janitor to do that. Probably does sound like a thing. And uh, now all the cells have closed. Ah, uh, yeah, lock up. There it is. Super good. It looks to be working quite well so far, but let's see how things kind of move on for us. With that office ready, I'm going to get this built up, and then we're going to look at making these other cells complete. And straight away, we're going to need to increase the size of the prison cell block, because we only get paid for them as they come in. But it looks like I don't actually make money while they're here. So that seems to be a bit of a thing. Alright, good. We've got ourselves some other cells on the way being built up here and all the things that a chief needs for his office and go on and put a TV and a sofa into the warden's office as well because he's got to have the nicer office, right? Just has to be a thing. So let's go ahead and see what's going on here. More building stuff sorting out. It looks like uniform, prison uniform dirty. So I'm guessing that we do need like a janitor or somebody to clean this mess up. Let's have a look here. Is there such a thing? No, cook, warden, guard, chief. That's it. But he is indeed locked, so we can't seem to get our hands on that guy at the moment. I'm guessing we need to be spending a little bit more time in the way of, um, what did you call it? Prison running in this bureaucracy system. Getting things taken care of in here. How do we get ourselves a janitor? It is, it's under maintenance. Unlocks the foreman allowing you to employ labor as a varied profession. So we're going to need people to be able to keep the place cleaning, which is a good idea. Um, he's 900, we don't have the money for it. We're completely spent. We are totally, totally spent. What was that? Environment. What does that mean? View file. So we've got here Joe Barrera. There's his grading. Ooh, it's food time. I'm guessing that they don't like the environment. Admittedly, the floor is pretty god dang terrible. And what is this? Is this all like dust and dirt building up on the cobwebs on the walls? I think it might be. Yeah, it seems like people are super not liking this. Let's have a little look at this dude. Sentence of five years for rioting. 
Ah, uh, right, that shows how he's been spending his time in the prison. Yeah, behavior, five hours without incident. <laughs> yeah, these dudes are really not liking this environment. They're kind of like constantly bringing up this little logo, but I'm not entirely sure what it means or what the problem is for them there. So the one chef is probably going to be having a bit of an issue getting all of this food ready for these guys all at the same time. But I'm sure he's going to be able to do it. I have faith in you, buddy. Do we need staff to actually, like, serve these things? I feel like we're going to need another one. Can we hire another chef? 500 and a daily wage of 100. I don't think we can afford another chef. That'll pretty much be all of my food. All of my food? All of my, all of my wages. Well, you know what? Let's do it. Let's hire him. And then let's look at getting some more people in here. So, prisoner intake, read CEO's letter. What are we missing here? There's another one. Feed all the prisoners. Open the logistics menu. Currently locked. We require the bureaucracy upgrade for that. Okay, fair enough. So, let's have a look at getting more people. Intaking more people. Because we currently have four more spaces that are available. So, let's bring in four more of our medium security friends. Because when they arrive in the morning, that's going to give me a little bit more of a cash injection, which is super needed for me. So now they're all heading to the yard. They're allowed to go outside and do things. Which is going to be sitting around listening to the radio and talking about stuff. Um, somebody needs to open that door for them. Or they're going to be peeved. Hmm, maybe that many double locked doors wasn't working out too well for me either. What are you doing, dude? Go and lend them out so they can go into the yard. <laughs> Can't spend all their yard time just sitting, waiting at a door. Yeah, we're definitely going to be needing a lot more guards so that this doesn't happen as well. Maybe I should be removing this door because we don't need them locked in the yard. Yeah, I feel like that can go. We'll remove that one. And that's it, they literally just stand in the yard. Why are they hating the environment so much? I don't understand. I thought we did really well on the environment here. I really did think we did well. But nope, everybody hates it. Everybody's super peeved about it. I don't know if they're saying, like, something stinky or... They're throwing something on the floor in that little emoticon. I can't quite tell. I really can't quite tell. <laughs> I'm wondering if it's the flooring. I wonder if that's the thing. Oh, we do need to plumb in the water for that. For these toilets as well. Otherwise, uh, they're not going to be able to poop. And that will probably make them quite angry if they are unable to poop. And all of these guys are just going to be hanging around in the yard. Having a chat, doing things. Oh, they've stopped complaining about their environment now. Now that they're outside, they stopped complaining about it. Okay, good. That's probably why. And now it's back to lock up with the lot of you. Back to lock up, you guys. And again, all of this stuff. What happens with it? Queued to be moved to canteen. Well, who does that? Wait. Queued move to canteen. Do the trays just stay there? Some cooked ingredients, some extra food hanging around there. Yeah, and as soon as they're inside, they are absolutely hating it with the whole environment is poor thing. That's definitely going to have to be something that we're going to need to work on. But we've not done too badly, actually. I think we've gone a whole day without an escape. And our first batch of prisoners is about to be exceeded by yet another batch of prisoners. Uh-oh, those guys have all been locked up in the rooms where the toilets aren't working. And they're not going to be able to get in to fix it because of the other ones. Oh, another snapshot. Oh, I like it. It's actually, it looks like him. It looks like him. That's cool. Ah, uh, he will let in the guards one at a time so that they can actually do their bit and build what they need to build in there and then they'll lock it up behind them. Very good. Very good indeed. That's the dude. Get, get out of the jail zone. 
Well, they're very well behaved prisoners at that. Look at that, gate sitting open, they're not even bothered. Quite happy hanging about it. Yeah, we're gonna need extra guards because of the amount of doors I got in here and they have to unlock them each time somebody tries to travel through. So that's definitely gonna be a bit of an issue. But we've got some new people arriving, I believe, tomorrow morning on day seven, which is pretty sweet. And so far, everything seems to be working pretty well except for how much people are hating the stinky stink of it which is a bit of an issue and we need to get those other cells up and running so that we don't have people constantly hanging around in here which is where the next couple of people are going to be going in there <laughs> otherwise that's going to become a problem too all right yeah definitely have a few things for us to look at in the next episode but not doing too badly actually not as bad as i feared would happen if you guys have enjoyed it do me a huge favor hit the like button for me and if you're looking forward to some more amazing prison architect stuff and looking forward to watching this place burn to the ground as they riot and kill me then hit the subscribe button and don't miss out on any uploads that are coming to the channel in the next few days in the meantime everybody i'll call it here thanks again for joining take care everybody all the best and i can't wait to see you all again soon